Welcome to Go Live TV, the future in your hands. The only multicultural IPTV station that brings communities together. Over 2.7 million people have already watched. Go Live TV, anytime, anywhere. <laughs> Welcome. Good evening. We are back. I love the English yeah, ones, huh? It's really exciting. My name is Karina. <laughs> and my name is Ariane. And together we are... Viva Zinturont. Yes. It's better when we say it together. Is it? Yes, you're too soft. <laughs> too, so too, too soft. Too soft. We can do it again. Retake. Soft. Take two. <laughs> <laughs> Take two. Hi, my name is Karina. I'm Ariane. And together we are... Viva Zinturont. Uh, much better. better. <laughs> Okay, guys, so welcome to our show again, our first one in 2022 in English. We are very excited to be back. We are super excited. We talked about this last week. It's been a very crazy 2021. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I have to say that the beginning of 2022 hasn't been much better, but we will <laughs> We're get working there. On it. We have like about 330 Three days. something dates to still work on it. <laughs> We're, we're we, it's okay. It's going to yes. work. It's going to work. So we decided to start off the year as easy. Yeah, like light recipes because you know we're all very indulgent during the holidays and we just thought you know let's make it easy let's make it healthy and we've done a couple of healthy shows yeah healthy have, recipe and there's shows. always like good tips and tricks right? and stuff like that for it's sure it's cool for sure and this week i was very i was so so happy and so proud someone told me um oh sometimes i go for your, like i look at your shows to look for a recipe or for an idea and I'm like, i know oh, that's great so nice. that's exactly what we want is the engagement love right? it i yeah. love it yeah because sometimes uh, we pick, we're trying more and more to pick recipes that we've never done, yeah, right? Which yeah. is really cool because it we gives try us different a things, right? Yeah, for sure, for sure. So we want to tell you about the recipes for today because these are cool and important. So today I decided to do a bulgur salad with chickpeas. It's a very cool recipe. Never done it before. Mm -hmm. I have done bulgur in the thermomix before, but a couple of things went wrong. Okay, I'm gonna tell you what went wrong. Exactly. Okay. We're always about sharing the truth. Three things that went wrong. First one, I forgot my basket. And this recipe called to cook the vulgar in the, in basket. the basket. Second thing that went wrong was I actually didn't have some of the ingredients from the recipe. But we always say we don't go out I buying don't go certain buy, ingredients no. on purpose unless it's detrimental for the success of the recipe. Correct. But because it's not. this is a salad, I substitute it. for sure, it so feels like it will, okay? it will work as well. And the third thing, what, wait, there was a third thing. What was the third thing? I don't remember the third oh, thing. Oh, the third thing was that the recipes that we picked actually are in Portuguese oh, today. Yes. Uh, we've been we've been kind of going by a collection that there exists in Portuguese, which if you don't understand a word of it, it's fine because you can translate. Uh, you can translate the collection, so collection on your on your desktop or be by using Google Lens on your yeah. machine. We showed so, you before Google Lens is so cool. You yeah. just point and it automatically translates. Exactly. Uh, so we kind of default to Portuguese for you know for whatever automatically. reason. Automatically. Automatically. But, but we are going to work on it. That's something we're going to work in 2022. Yes. To have these recipes. A lot of English, a lot more English recipes because you may see the ingredients here in the picture of the recipe on Cook I Do. That being said, you probably could there find an English recipe for yeah. an English version for this recipe. That's right. But yeah. the ones that we had selected out and that you're going to see on the screen. So sorry on Portuguese, but it's what what we really want to celebrate is the fact that we are doing this. It's so this cool. Is new. So our thank go live you so team much is so cool. to our go live team because so, this is really exciting. Yeah. So now we're going to show you the recipes. We've had a few feedback from people that watched the show and they said, oh, it would be great to have the name of the exactly. recipe. Exactly. How to find exactly. it. So this is how you find it. We will, I promise, we're going to work on getting you English recipes when we're doing the English show. I yes, promise. Okay? Absolutely. So, and the other little oh, thing go, go. that uh, Karina forgot to mention is there, we always think, we try to think of a workaround because like we always say, no kitchen, our kitchens are, my certainly is not perfect and I'm assuming for the most part, a lot of them aren't. So Karina thought very quickly in using the oh, Thermomix yeah, I was gonna, of a workaround for the Which bulger. I'm going to explain after. Yeah. So, um, I'm a little mad at you right now. Why? You don't have my recipe. Oh, I'm sorry. So you I have your recipe. I know, you need to check, you need to search for it. Okay, I told you I'm going to show you a very quick way to yeah. search. Really cool, okay? So if you're in the main screen of the Thermomix, you see three different, you just slide to the left, 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 sorry, um, right, left, yeah. You slide <laughs> the other to the left. left, the other right. You slide to the left and there's a search engine, just like Google, okay, people? Yes. 
You go there, you put what you want to cook. I'm going to try just writing vulgar and say, if, see if this, sorry, I'm looking at it upside down, but I'm going to try just vulgar to see if and it pulls see up. if it pulls up. If not, some recipes you do have to put the full name, some you really don't. If I write vulgar and just search, it will show me all the recipes with vulgar, that okay? At some point called for vulgar. And I hope that mine is here somewhere. Here we go. And that is my recipe. Simple and easy, there okay? This is one of the ways. You can also go on the app, look, and just press cook send today it to and it will to automatically go to your device. Yeah. Or you can just send it to one of your collections or you can save yeah. it. Or share it amongst friends. Share it. We do that a lot. Yeah, we do that we a share. Lot. yeah. So it's really cool. Okay. So I'm going to start with the vinaigrette. I'm going to start on her machine with the vinaigrette, which is... This pool? Sorry. Which, oh, thank you. Yeah. Which is the, the way to season the salad, right? So this recipe is really all in. You do it all, you know, everything. So we're going to try. So it starts with 40 grams of um, olive oil or any oil that you like to use in salads. Here, so, you know, obviously, it's super versatile. You can add whatever you want. Yeah, whatever you you prefer, okay? It's really a taste kind of thing. Um, we usually substitute a lot. Like, I'm, oh, yeah, I'm a substituter. Yeah, no, yeah, for sure. I, will sure, substitute I would definitely for, use an oil that I have. I wouldn't go buy yeah. anything really specific. Yeah. Um, so I usually do that. Then balsamic vinegar, which I actually asked Orient to bring. Because I had a raspberry one and we thought, ooh, that's gonna be funky. Let's raspberry, do it. raspberry vinegar. I don't know, raspberry right, balsamic so, infused. Yeah. So 25 grams of that, which really isn't a lot. That alone for dipping bread, I'm down. Oh my god. Dip that alone with a little bit of salt. <laughs> I'm ready. I know, I'm telling you. That's that look. Because sounds... Karina made bread for the first time this week, guys. It was good too. I know it was. It was great. I told you you can make bread. And I even moment. inspired some people to to do it too. There you go. Huh? Look at that. I know because people think you know if Karina can do it, anyone can do it. <laughs> right? That's literally what it is. Then it asks for mint, right? That's what Earth line is, mint. Mint, yes. Mint. But I, first, I don't like mint. Second, I didn't have mint, yeah. so I'm using parsley. Good old parsley. Okay? Yeah. Which I usually always have around the house, and then salt. Okay. It does tell you a quarter of a teaspoon. Okay, I don't, I don't look at salt measures. Sorry, it doesn't Sugar. work. Yeah, then it's, it's the lid. This one's mine, yes. Yeah. Then, oh, and pepper. Sorry, salt Throw and pepper. A little bit of pepper in there. The pepper. Right. There you go. All right. Now I think it's just going to mix it yeah, again. I've never done this recipe. Seconds, so 10 seconds, yeah. it's just going to mix it all. And then we're just going to put it in a little bowl. Thank you. That Ariane remembered my bowl. So cool. Totally ready. So we're just gonna put it in a little bowl and then it will season our salad. So I'm not gonna do the rest, but I'm going to tell you what the next step is so you understand. So the next step, ooh, ooh that smells, smells great. Good. Yeah. It smells really good. It's very thick, yeah. isn't it? Ooh, yeah. I love it. It emulsified a bit, yeah. So um, the next step is to put water and the basket and the bulgur and then cook your bulgur. So it cooks your bulgur for about, 20 minutes, I think it was you said? I think it was 20 minutes. Yeah. 20 minutes. But because I forgot my basket, I was going, obviously I was going to do all of this, already have it cooked. But because I forgot my basket, I decided I remember that I had already cooked bulgur with the rice function. So water, bulgur, rice. Uh, rice function, sorry. So I did it, it, I'm about one minute away from it being done. So I think Ariane's gonna start her recipe and, and then, then we'll we go back to together. my bulgur, yeah, right? Sure. So again, people, if it doesn't work one way, there's always ways to yeah, fix it. Yeah, there's generally a, a turnaround yes. for sure. All right. Okay, so I can just cancel out of here. If we go yeah. to the three dots, I can just cancel out of that recipe, okay? So I have two recipes. I have a little dessert, a very simple fruity dessert, which here you could obviously, the sky is the limit, you could use anything. Once again, I'm still going by the, that collection that you can find on Cook I Do and that I happen to be fortunate to have the book that my mom sent for me. Uh, so my dessert is a peach ice cream. So the re I'm gonna do this dessert first because last week uh, we did something funky, which is we didn't wash our bowl. You can't bowl. see it, but it's really Karina cool. Karina didn't wash no. her bowl from doing one dessert. And it, we thought it was, was cool. it was nice. It was nice texture. And because again, I'm working with fruits and with dessert and with a, like a smoothie-like drink, I don't feel it will affect. And I actually think the, the yeah. residue of the peach will probably give a nice taste. So to the you're smoothie. starting with the I'm gonna ice start cream. With, the, with the ice cream, yeah. And it's what Love takes it. uh, slightly longer. So I'm gonna start with that. So my ice cream translating to the tea is just like soft peach ice cream. Soft okay? peach soft ice cream. Soft peach ice cream. Okay, so it calls for peaches. 
Frozen. 300 grams of frozen, frozen yeah. peaches. Yeah, so I have them all here. Ooh, bulgur's done. Look at that. Bulgur is done. Yay. Oh, it looks good. It looks good. Look. I, have, I think I've never cooked bulgur. Look. look at that. It's fluffy. It yeah, is there you go. fluffy. It's a Ooh. cross between rice and quinoa. Almost. Look, your recipe was in there. Did you yeah. see that? Um, can I show you my bulgur? Can yeah, you see sure. it? Look. Yeah, it's perfect. Yeah, I'm so yeah, there you excited. Go. Okay, so, and then it asks for 10 grams of lemon juice, which I'm going to put right in there. Ooh, this looks good. And then now I think it's going to just crush here all our peaches. So this is probably uh, going to be a little bit loud. So essentially what it says, it asks you to go to speed five. So I, I love that it tells you exactly uh, what we're going to do, the steps that we're going to take. So it's going to go 15 seconds, speed five, and it tells you to gradually move up to speed nine. So we're going to start at five. And then you can give it a couple of seconds and then keep moving all the way until you get to nine. Okay, seven and a half, eight, and the last four seconds at nine. Obviously, there's no right or wrong here, like two seconds at five. There's no right or wrong. Just, you know, make sure at some point you get to that level nine because it does and you help. You can always go back and of do course, it again. Of course, of course. It does help in the consistency. So right now what you have is just very crushed frozen peaches. Okay? That's all we have there. And that's exactly what we're looking for. Ooh, oh, okay? you can't see it there. No. See it there? Before I actually look, yeah. now you can see. Okay. Because yeah. okay. you look like, oh, oh look, 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 look. And the guy is so nice. Yeah. There you go. Okay? Frozen peaches. Frozen crushed peaches. Okay, so it tells you exactly to, it asks you to move it down with the spatula, right? Yep. A lot of the recipes will ask you to do that. In the beginning, I didn't used to do it, and then I realized it's Every important. Every now and then, that makes a difference. Yes, it, does. it does make a difference, yeah, right? Okay, so because what it wants you to is make sure you get all of that down. To do it's it again. It's gonna crush it another couple of seconds. So it's gonna go three seconds to speed 30. five. Oh, 30, 30 seconds. seconds, oh, look at that, that makes sense. Because we're looking backwards. We're looking backwards. That makes sense now because what we're going to achieve here is a foam because we're going to use our butterfly. <gasps> we are not. Yes, it's are. one of those? It's one of those. Ooh, and I love peaches. Love. It's really good. Yeah, my And Ontario peaches, peaches are well. pretty good. Yeah, and I bought them, I bought them frozen um, probably a month or so ago, so it was still from the batch from the summer. Ooh, uh, you could nice. tell, even the smell, like when it's you open the bag. Right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's really cool. You know what I was thinking? Tell me if you think I'm wrong. Mm -hmm. So I follow the steps and it was to cook the bulgur and then discard all the water and then use the same cup to keep going. So I'm using the vinaigrette cup. I think it will work. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, why not? We'll let's give it that little zest let's kind of it. thing. I'm going to put, uh, let's just put this one on the go and then you can carry on. Absolutely. Because okay? right now what it asks is for, for you to put your butterfly. So the butterfly is a magical thing. It's okay? a magic tool. We've talked like about all it. The pieces and we parts. talked about it all the time. It looks like a butterfly, that's why it's I called know. the butterfly, okay? So it airs, like to, yeah. to you know. It brings air, egg fluffiness, whites, just, oh, egg whites, so your cool. mashed potatoes, your, like there's, there's it's so, so many, cool. so many things that, that you can achieve that Look nice. Frozen. So you can tell, sometimes people are worried, you can tell exactly how it goes in, because if you're putting it in wrong, it will kind of not go, not stick to the bottom, you can tell And if exactly. you turn on the machine, it, it will, will, yeah, it you will, can it will snap on you see it, for yeah. sure. And then it asks for egg whites. Two egg whites. Okay. I love this magic. Did you show the before and after? Show well, the before, before was just crushed peaches. It was we what showed we you showed before. you. Okay. So, and now let's let's go. It's gonna go three minutes, I believe. Yeah. yeah. To speed three okay. and a half. So I can keep going. Yeah, you can keep going. So my recipe, I have to do 30 grams of olive oil right now. Okay. Then it's going to ask for 150 grams of onions. Mm. So it does ask for red onions. I didn't have it. I yeah, brought the regular onion. I think it's going to be a little stronger yeah, in the taste. Maybe, but but we, I think we enjoy okay. onions. So. Yeah, I think it will be okay. So then you are going to put your lid back on and do the one thing that I bought my Thermomix for, which is... Chop your onions. Chop your onions. <laughs> so in five seconds, the onions that I put in are completely chopped. And now you're going to cook it saute. for five minutes. Ooh. You saute it, okay? That's really, really We're nice. We're going to leave it and it's going to saute it for about five minutes. I like that. I right? like the mix of 
sa like fresh salad with cooked Me too, something. I kind of like it. Right? I didn't think I would, um, but a couple of you know years ago, I started enjoying the warm stuff with the salad. With the salad? So yeah. for those of you who don't know... It can't I overpower have, though. I feel I can get I soggy. have a problem with textures and stuff, so I don't like my food touching each other. Not all food, just some foods anyway. Uh, so... Like for example, if I grab a pea and I put the pea in there, no, 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 that's not what no. it is. Don't lie to people. <laughs> it's mostly the grains of rice touching my meat or fish. It's mostly it, yeah. The rice is very... The rice is... And, and when people eat bread with butter and put it in the coffee that's and so, then like, the coffee has all the, you know, all the butter no, in the coffee. No, that's, oh, no, no, that's, just, I can't. that's just the way to eat. No, no. But anyway, so I really didn't like the mushiness that it became with the warm stuff, with the salad stuff, right? But somehow in the last few years, I've actually learned to I don't like it. when it's mushy. I like when it, you can feel the texture, like soft, the crunchiness, like, yeah. you know what I mean? Like if you have something crunchy, and then but you still feel the crunchiness of the salad, but then you maybe have some chicken strips. Do you think this one's like going to be one of those? Because uh, there's I think like it's going to be good. Mm, I think I it's going to be, I think those onions are going to be, are going to give it that. First, they're going to be very, they're going to be softer, even to the taste, right? They're not going to be that They're making me flavor. cry. So I think I think it's maybe that's good. why we saute them so they're not they don't have that strong. Yeah, yeah, for sure. For yeah. sure, you're sweating them. Really. Okay. Yeah. Alrighty, I think it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. How much do I have? Forty-five seconds. Forty-five seconds. Yes. So I'm gonna put these little guys here. Okay. Is that it? Are you done? Is uh, that your ice cream? Yeah, that's my ice cream. That's so cool. Yeah. I love it. This is I I never it's made like this berry recipe. Foam. Uh, almost like the berry foam. Yes, to an extent. Uh, definitely, we'll be Can doing it again. Can you see her her cup is freezing? Frozen, yeah, like, oh, it's I'm on the other side. Wait. Yeah. Look. Yeah. It's freezing. Um, I love it. Very much like, um, obviously, you can achieve real sorbet slash no. ice cream in your Thermomix. This is not one of those because you are working with frozen fruit. This is but a, it's the fastest yes. way you can achieve. It's a very, very sure. fast ice cream yes, absolutely. with frozen fruit. For but sure. but you can do yeah. ice cream ice cream that can. has to go to the freezer. Exactly. Freezer. Yes. Yes. yes, absolutely. You can. I've done this it before. This is just a very quick, almost uh, black I like these quick I love them. These I love them. Quick They're ones. so handy. And you don't make it ahead of time. You make it when your guests <gasps> oh are there. Oh my God, it's so and pretty. The color. We're just we need the top. We need the top one. The top. Look, look. We're just used to seeing this all red, right? How cool is it's that? The berry foam. But you need to see the oh, texture. Give me a spoon. You need a spoon. Here. Oh, okay. You gotta see the texture. Wait, can we go back? There you go. Yeah. Look, look, look. Yeah. So it's it's. it's can you a see cream, it? Like right? it's so cool. And uh, it yields a lot all the time. Lot, I feel yeah. because 300 grams of fruit is like if you're buying one of those little normal oh, bags of fruit at the like store. Like little pieces of peach. Of peach. Oh, I love it. It looks very, very nice. Do we get to try it? Do we get to try it? Uh, yeah, you do. There's so much there. Let's plate those, and then we can put. We're gonna have to put the re the leftover in a little in here in this little container. I think you can scoop it in there, because then we'll we'll try it Look. and we'll plate these for. It's so pretty. And I brought a couple of peaches. Oh, to, I know, to put on top. To put huh? nice Look at you. Being Obviously, so cool. here you could put you could put something else. So the recipe says you could probably put the ice cream on top of the peaches. You know, you could do that. Or ooh. if you have another frozen fruit that some you think works well, some crumbs on top. Some, ooh, that so looks here, good. there's um, there's room for being creative. A little bit of coconut. A little bit of coconut. Maybe Love some, it. some some cocoa powder. Mm. So there. There you go. It's really simple, right? Can we try it? Sim Try it. Let's try that no, one. Try it, but I need a spoon. You need a spoon? Well, yeah. Okay. Do we have? Oh, it's right here. I can get you found one. That one? No, yeah. I can get you one of these guys. This looks really good. I know. I like the little pieces of. of I know. Me of, too. Is that yours? Get a spoon or? for you. Oh, you said you had one. No. Caramba. Mm. What do you think? Cold. <laughs> so I wasn't paying attention to you. Did you yeah. cut on the sugar on the thing? There's no sugar, my friend. Uh, I don't like it. I'm sorry, it's from a light recipe. There is no sugar. <laughs> you can see I am not the light person. Texture is amazing. Flavor, great, yeah. but for me it needs sugar. No, no. Sorry, sugar. no sugar. That's very sad. Okay. Because well, the texture, maybe. I'm gonna go for more with no sugar, okay? Oh, the, so it can't be that bad. No, no, it's it not can't bad. be that bad. I didn't say it was bad, <laughs> I said uh, for me it needed sugar. Okay, at home you would lick the butterfly, obviously, because it's a lot of ice cream mm. here. We're not going to do that on... The texture is amazing. It's not even national, it's international television. International We're not going to lick the, the, our, our butterfly. But you know what? But you know, let it Definitely be noted that recipe. we would do it at home. 
Yes, definitely a good recipe. I would put some sugar in it, but very, very good recipe. Yeah, for sure. I like the little pieces of fruit because the other one doesn't get the little pieces I don't, of fruit. You right? don't feel it as much, I no, think. No, I like it. Okay, can I keep going with mine since you're eating? Okay. So next it asks it for... It like peaches to me. It tastes like peaches. Oh, yeah. I have to wash my bowl. I'm sorry, you guys, because I, I scooped my spoon in here. I was trying oh, not to wash it. Go. I'm going to wash it. Okay, so then we're going to do 350 grams of... Um, Help me, I just said it. Chickpeas. Chickpeas. Sorry. But, so 350 grams is one can for me, one of those yeah. 100 gram yeah. cans. Um, and so, I think it's good, you don't waste, I don't like when recipes Yeah, just, just like, a little bit of something that you need yeah, to Yeah, I don't open. like it, especially yeah. when it's a can, right? Then it asks for a little bit of pepper. And that obviously, obviously you guys, you could cook your chickpeas ahead of time here in your Thermomix. Yes, if you those, didn't want right? to use the canned ones, yeah. you can totally cook them, yeah. Your then it asks you to kind of just uh, mix it with your spatula. Obviously, do you, do you need, need a spatula? No, no, I have a little one. Thank you. Then you're going to put the lid back on. I'm doing this step by step with you guys. I've never done it. It's going to mix for one minute in the. the what, what is the inversa in, in, in English? Oh, in the reverse. Reverse. Spoon. Spoon. Okay, so you have your blade, it, your blade is reversed. So, so basically, it's like using your spoon. Exactly. Yeah. It goes around the other way so it doesn't cut anything. It's like being in front of your stove, which we are not anymore, which we do not do. It's doing Very this. rarely. Very rare. My mother in law is probably cooking in the stove because I brought <laughs> I brought the bean bee with me, so she, you brought the she had to use the stove. You left her you left her with I no did, device. Right? <laughs> So okay. now I think it just mixes this and then you mix it all together. But she's gonna do her recipe and we'll do it. Yeah, I can it. start with the smoothie. Uh, my smoothie is, I, I feel it's one of those dump and goes. So the recipe says it's like a breakfast smoothie. So this collection, in particular this book, what I like about it is the way it was thought is they have ideas for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks. That's right. And kind of, you can pick and choose from each, of one of each type of thing. And make your, your own menu. Yeah, with, make your uh, own menu. And whatever you mix, you never go over those calorie exactly. counts, Exactly. Right? Whatever calorie count they decided that would be kind of funky to do. I didn't go into all the details of the book, but it's really interesting. And all the recipes, you know how some recipes are intimidating like the dead ones all oh, these are ingredients that i can't find or such hard ingredients. no everything is very right. i feel like you have kicking around the house somehow or you don't need to go to a very special store to get it's easily Pretty accessible cool. in a normal store is it a fast recipe it is it is it's a minute so can i just finish yeah it? you do yeah. you go girl because i'm done so basically yeah. with this this it mixed the the onions with the um, chickpeas and what we're going to do is now just put everything together can you help me Absolutely. So here we go. So I'm going to tell you. What am I doing? Ooh, it asks, that looks no so nice. I'm going to try that. Wait, wait, wait. So it wait. asks for you to just mix it all. The next ingredients are uh, cucula. Mm. Mm, sorry. Greens, right? They're the green. spring greens. Mm -hmm. So spring leaves, right? So here it could be anything. A mix of baby spinach. Yeah. Um, I actually picked just lettuce is what I had at home. Yeah. So I did just lettuce. Like that's all I'm doing here. But you could do here. like baby spinach or you could do those field greens. Yeah, you gave have. me this bowl. Look. And I don't have another one. I tell you. I told you. I told you. I'm going to use my cup. Oh, you're going to mix it in your yes, cup? Yes, I'm very mm. smart. I know what to... I don't, know. I don't think you can mix it. But you know, you, go, well, you don't need to mix it all probably because you have a lot of ingredients. And that's a big salad. It is a big salad. It's for four people. And that's a big salad. So I'm going to mix it all. I'm going to show you, okay? It asks for the chickpeas with the onions that we just did, the bulgur, which I'm going to mix in there. Then, oh yeah, I'm so sorry. Let me clean my Invictus countertop. Thank you, I'm take, sorry. I need to take care of it. Got it dirty, sorry. Okay. It's very, very cool, this bulgur, because it is very loose. I think that if we steam it in the basket, like the recipe calls, Maybe. it probably will be a little even looser than yeah. what it is now, but it is, it's pretty cool. Okay. Have you made, have you, well, you said you did cook bulgur. I don't think I've ever cooked I, bulgur I in my house. I cooked it like this. Yeah. Yes, like this I recipe. I like that. Yeah, it's really nice. Then it asks for, sorry, I'm translating in my mind and today is just not working. Uh, purple cabbage. Yes. Okay. But again, I didn't have red. Oh, purple, purple not purple? Yeah, red, purple. We call it yeah. red. Okay. So purple, red cabbage. I didn't have it. I did, I mean, oh, oh, I did um, carrots and, carrots. and 
I'm going to tell you, it was so cool. My mother-in-law was helping me get all these things uh, together. You didn't peel the carrots, you put them in your peeler. No, I didn't. I'm sorry. No, wait. I don't do that. I'm, I'm Karina. You know, I'm oh, like your carrots are baby carrots. Right <laughs> but I, I had to shred them, right? And I thought, she said, oh, are you going to do it in there or are you going to use it? I'm like, what are you talking about? No, I'm going to do it in there. <laughs> Never did it, but put it in there. Four seconds, it's all it took to do all of that. To and I was it. like, I was so go. happy. Anyway, so carrots, okay? So you can do cabbage, uh, white cabbage or, or purple, which is what it asks for. And then um, the lettuce or the greens, whatever you have, a little bit of parsley or mint, whatever you like. I'm going cilantro, to put a whole. Cilantro, I'm assuming some people Ooh, would like cilantro. Cilantro would yeah. be good in here, yeah. huh? Yeah. Um, this is all washed because, you know, I have a fantastic mother-in-law at my house right now. Prepping your ingredients. Washes all like of my stuff chef, for me. Sous chef number three. You can eat anything in my house. Everything's washed, okay? Why are you touching my stuff? Because I'm allowed. I like big stuff. No. I'm going to cut that one. I was going to cut that one. Wait. Oh, okay. I give there up. There you go. Thank you. Then you're going to do your... This, just well, looking at it right now, this? you're not going to be able I'm to. Going to. Everything looks... I would mix that and then yes, take a little bit of the, the... This looks very bland right now, but, but in my head, vinaigrette. I'm thinking about the vinaigrette, right? Needs the vinaigrette. Can you put it back? Yeah. Put it all back. Put it all back. All of it? You no, no, no. The, the... Yeah. No. No, just some. Because I'm going to mix you, it. Yeah. yeah, you're going to mix some of it. Yeah? Is that what it's you're going to do? a very confusing day today. It's okay. It's been a confusing time. Yes, confusing year. Okay. We're gonna put the mixture in there. Oh, that looks good. It does look good. I'm that looks get really good. Chickpeas in here. Okay. Gonna mix it all in. Do you need more chickpeas? You think so? Do you need a spoon? Look. No, I'm okay. You look. can work like the, you know, like ratatouille. Ratatouille. <laughs> <laughs> can just done. There you it's go. Okay. All right. We're gonna mix it. Oh, oh, oh. You know what? Let me put the vinaigrette and mix it. Okay. Yeah. Don't use all the vinaigrette. No, then I know. We can I know. The rest. We can season the rest of the salad after. Ooh, that looks good. It does look good. Why'd you give me a spoon for? So oh, you can to do like that. Toy, yes. Ooh, I like <laughs> it. Okay, so it's a bit messy. It's because, okay. Because you know, but oh, it does look good. And it smells amazing. Can I have a, it does smell really good. Can I have a plate? You know what? I got these little, beautiful little. Is that for us to try it? Yeah. But I need a plate for, to plate it first. Oh, you want to plate it there? You just want to eat everything. Yes, ma'am. Here. Right there, ready? my friend. All right. How so we're just going to plate it. That goes Are on the top. goes on top. Okay, so we're going to put the salad and then we're going to top it with pears, which I pre-sliced, pre, pre, um, did you peeled yeah. and pre-sliced and they're, mine are soaked in lemon. A little bit of lemon. Yes. Yeah. So you just put the pears and it is a bulgur salad with pears. I like it. How pretty is that? You know what I would probably do? Mm. This midgie's foot. While you cook the bulgur, hmm. I would probably steam my pears. Ooh, to put in the pear? Yeah. Oh, that sounds soft, good. Right? And when you cook the bulgur in this recipe, it does ask you to season it with the mint and everything in the water. Yeah. Okay? Which I didn't do. Now you okay. want to try it, huh? Yeah, I want to try it. Okay, I'll As do you, it while you I'll do your this, thing. Yeah, yes. I'll put this on the go. Okay, so like we said, so my recipe is, uh, it's called a breakfast smoothie with ginger and blueberries. Why would you put ginger? Last week, I hated the ginger drink okay, we had. Do you want me to take out on the ginger? I can, just for you. Just for me? Yeah, why oh, not? Oh, I like it. Okay, so it asks Sometimes, for only sometimes she's nice. 125 grams of blueberries that okay. I, I got right here. Are what else frozen? does it ask? Frozen, yes ma'am. And then it asks for one orange. Um, I'm just gonna open it up so I don't throw it. Karina would probably throw it in there whole. Absolutely. But I'm gonna, obviously my orange is peeled. I'm just going to break it there into two or three pieces and throw it in there. Can you use orange juice instead of orange? Uh, I, I don't know if the consistency will be the same because, you know, the peels are True. probably going to help to the consistency of the smoothie, right? True. Okay, so then it asks for 240 grams of yogurt, just plain good old white yogurt. I'm assuming here you could add some flavor, but mine was, was just, you know, just plain. Plain vanilla would yeah, be good. Yeah, so yeah, I didn't want to tap or a on blueberry one, the sugar, or even you blueberry. Yeah, you're right, you can. But I hear uh, I'm mostly following the recipe. To be honest, I wouldn't. Uh, the only thing I'm not doing here's my ginger. I'm not going to add my ginger in. Okay. Thank you. And I don't like ginger. We're not going to add the ginger, so Karina can try it. Okay. It asks for two spoons of. Interesting. Of, help me. Oatmeal. Oh no. Well, no. oats. Yeah. Oats. Yeah. Yeah. Rolled, Rolled oats. oats. Sorry. Right? Two spoons, right there. 
And then it asks for 80 grams of water. Oh, cold water. Cold water. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, thank you. Okay, we let that there go. You, go. you let your scale go to zero. Keep going, you're at 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. There you go. All okay. right. And I believe now it asks for your sweets. So your honey, here okay. you could honey. go wherever you want. So I had honey, so that's what I'm gonna use. 10 grams of honey, or yes. you could do sugar probably. You right? could so probably do sugar, or do honey monk is just fruit. Healthier. Ooh, maple syrup. Maple syrup, yeah. Here, it's whatever sweetener of your choice, but you know, be following you know the guidelines of this recipe, we're going on the healthier side. Well, because Hence the idea why. is to follow the recipe. If you're doing the diet, then Yeah, if you're doing the this specific, if this is what you're you're into, your lid. Hence why my lid, which is this little guy. Yeah. Now it's gonna go in here for a minute at speed ten. All the so way. A lot of noise, okay, a guys. We're noise. gonna try the salad. I think I agree. It's a little bit of salt. It's very good. I have never had bulgur. It's really, really nice. It's good. It is really nice. Try with the pear. a little bit of the balsamic now is really mm. mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. I would cut up the fair small to mix in, right? Yes. We I were would... just, I don't know if you could hear us, we were giving all, so we, we all are the... salt people, okay? The recipe is very good. Uh, we are salt people, okay? Mm. Just so you know. It is not unseasoned at all, oh, but we really are, good. we are. I love the chickpeas being cooked with the onions so for a cool. bit. It makes a difference and the bulgur. What did you think, Ben? I like the bulgur. I've never had bulgur before. Definitely something I'm going to be buying for my mm. house moving forward. Um, I like the Good. pear. I do like it like this, but I would definitely try it in steam because I think after with the vinaigrette, no. I would. No, try it I in like steam. the crunchiness of the pear, mm. but I would do it instead of the pear with like walnuts or something. Mm. I know I'm telling you. Okay, we would just change the whole yeah. thing and then just. I need walnuts. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Oh, okay, sorry, forget, scratch that. No candied walnuts for you. And then I'm the one that doesn't think healthy. Stop eating, come on. What is, oh, walnut. Ooh, that looks good. Look at this color. Can you see it? It's beautiful. Very nice. All right, can we try those two? Yes. Okay, you plate it and I'll, I'll bring this. Okay. It's very nice. In my blueberries defense, I think probably if this was done straight out of the freezer from home, it would be slightly thicker. You think so? I think so. No, no, I like the consistency. It looks like it's a good consistency. But because, you know, they've, we have they've, to travel traveled, here. they've traveled here for a little bit. Yeah, so sometimes our ingredients beautiful. aren't exactly, yeah. it's beautiful. Um, sometimes our ingredients aren't exactly where they should be because we have to travel here and bring them with us, so. It says it's a breakfast smoothie, guys. Obviously, this could be your substitute for breakfast, but it could be your substitute for a snack or for whatever the case. Look at such a pretty it's beautiful. menu we made. Such a nice course, look at that. How is it? Mm. Sweet enough for that you? That is good. I, I, would do, I would definitely do that. It's very good. It is sweet enough for me. It is. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. So what was this? Sorry, I, was, I never pay attention to a recipe. This was, that's not nice, but whatever. <laughs> this is blueberries, blueberries yogurt. Uh, it's like really skim, natural, plain yogurt. But you did natural yogurt. yogurt, okay. I did natural, plain. Uh, oats, you can feel the oats, eh? The mm. oats, I think, is what gives it a little bit of thick, thickness. Uh, oats, a little bit of water. I would probably cut down, cut the water. No, I like the, I don't like thick um, shakes. I don't like thick stuff. So it's perfect. It's very good. Very it's good. Very good. Very good, people. Hey, we have to stop eating and talking and. Guys, healthy. We keep saying this. You can totally indulge with a Thermomix. Yes. Look at us. But <laughs> you can also be healthy. Just really easily, and There's it's true, really only easily. only 60,000 recipes to explore, oh ish, my. give or take, so, you know. So don't forget, buy a Thermomix so you can cook all of these beautiful things. So contact us if you have any interest in finding out more about the Thermomix. Don't forget to download the Go Live TV app so you can see us every Friday mm -hmm. at 6.30 p.m. here. Yes. 
and you can watch all of the other shows which are amazing okay and follow us on instagram or facebook i know be our friends we like to make friends we're gonna bring back lives we used to do lives I know. before people keep asking us for you guys need to do the lives again because we're, gonna we're do really those fun during the lives yeah you know? we love because this. we love yeah. this show and it's really really cool uh, but you know, it is TV, like we need to behave sometimes. <laughs> and we're at home in, on uh, Instagram, we don't really need to behave, so <laughs> it's a little different. So yeah. we're gonna do that and we're really excited. It was lovely to- But join us here every Friday. Yeah. Hopefully, hopefully soon we can we can have some friends over. That's always love been our having goal. Friends, I know. Um, so yeah, that's it. That's it was a pleasure today. to be with you guys today. Have a great night. We'll see you soon. Thank Bye -bye. you for joining. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.